What's up guys, uh, here we have a Ford GT, well, uh, Ford, G, Ford GT, GTLM sounds kind of weird, but I mean, I guess that's what this is, a Ford GT, GTLM car, <clears throat> which I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that we got a car like this. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Because if you guys remember, I forget exactly which video it was. If it was the Mustang, uh, I guess gotta come from come over from the side here. I don't know if it was the Mustang video, the 2024 Mustang, or if it was the Raptor R. <clears throat> but sorry, guys, my allergies are a bit. Uh, I don't like this time of year. Uh, anyway, so Forza like drip fed us or leaked not really leaked they posted a photo on instagram of the uh the pro street camaro there's a pro pro stock i think it's pro stock but that camaro they dropped a picture of that the interior of this is very detailed wow a lot of details going on in here lots of buttons that look fun to press <clears throat> I'm trying to like, I know I'm talking weird, but I'm trying to kind of like hide the fact that I'm mad congested right now, <laughs> uh, and it's not working, it's making it sound worse. But yeah, we got the, so when they dropped that photo, it was like in the middle of that video, I forget I was looking for some, looking up something else, and I seen that, and I brought it up, I was like, oh look, they, they got the the Camaro and I was like maybe it'll be a drag update this Camaro right here yeah pro stock they dropped that picture and I was like oh maybe it'll be like a drag racing update oh boy was I wrong because we got a bunch of DTLM cars here we got the Ford GT the Hyundai Elantra Subaru this is T time attack it was like Trans Am American series and then we got the Porsche RSR as well as this car pack I'm not gonna buy because I paid a hundred dollars for this game like I think I should get the car packs should have bought the deluxe edition for no reason but I did recently buy uh, Forza Motorsport because it's like half off on Steam, so it's like screw it. I bought that, and I get all these cars on there, free. So, yeah. But one thing, I've been bringing this up in every video lately: the generational beef with Ford. Forza is not helping. be tripping um yeah the generational beef with ford forza is not helping my case right now because they keep dropping fours you know like every update boom ford gt i don't think there's any other fords but excluding the camaro why do we keep getting drag camaros but like they give us the ford gt free right nah bro we, we gotta buy the car pack if we want the Corvette. Like, come on, man. Look at this. Look at this. Where is this blasphemy? Where is that car pack? Is it this one? I don't know which one it is. Oh, this one. <clears throat> Silverado Trail Boss. You gotta pay for a car pack. Like five bucks for it, too. I mean, like, which isn't a lot, but it's like... I don't really want to. <laughs> But we get the Raptor R for free in a, in a seasonal update. What is this blasphemy? No one cares about. No one cares about Ford. Give us the real American cars. Give us the Chevys. Okay, now that my rant is done, uh, let's let's get into. Uh, the different things like I already know there's no there's not gonna be any aero upgrades for this car because it's it's a GTLM car 
what the hell are you gonna do to it? You can't throw a wide body kit on it. Like, see what I'm getting at here? But one thing that this does do, hold on, is, I'm saying hold on about like the upgrades. This takes me straight back to Horizon 3 with the, um, with that Le Mans car pack. Let me bring it up. We're going to Google again, guys. I don't normally do this, but here we are doing it again. Hey, look, there's my car. Uh, this takes me right back to Horizon 3. I was... When did that game come out? Like 2016? I was like 13? It takes me right back to this. I could have swore it was called a Le Mans car pack, though. Like right here. You got the, the Audi R8, the BMW. Corvette, the exact GT that we're looking at right now, this one, is like 2016 GT. Let's see what else is there. Yeah, the Ferrari. I think there might have been a couple Porsches in that pack, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't know why there's just not a picture with the full pack. I drove the crap out of this GTR and the Huracan in that pack, though. Anyway, back to back to what we're here for though. Back to what we're here to do today. Doesn't sound bad, not gonna lie. Um Looks like I get a racing V6 twin turbo. To be honest with you guys though, I don't know what engine that is. I genuinely don't. Looks like as far as tires though, you only get like the semi slicks and then like snow tires and rally tires, which is a bit weird. Then like drag drift. Ooh. It might be a stupid one. But I have an idea. It's for another day though. So anyway, that leads me to believe that these are the racing slicks. <clears throat> like, I guess in most cases, I would like come through here, upgrade the cars, throwing random upgrades on them, and just kind of go over it. But given that this is a GTLM car, there, there's like, quite literally nothing I can do to it. <laughs> like, we're... This is like the biggest uh, like waste of time here. I, I like I don't want to call it a waste of time because I want to see what this car is like. What it can, I want to know what it is, but I want to see what it can do, and I want to show you guys that and what's what different upgrades are available for it if it's worth picking up or not. And uh, there's like nothing I can do here. We are definitely making a drift car out of this, though. It'd be the most crazy drift car ever. Honda Civic Energy right there. Uh, you can't even get it up to X-Class. But it's fine, it's fine. It's whatever. I also... Another thing is, like, I forgot to go over colors. Like, I didn't skip that intentionally, I forgot to do it, genuinely. But what other manufacturer colors are going to be on a GT LM car? It comes in one color. Like, it's one color. Guarantee it, one color. Yeah. I am interested by this, though. What do we have here? Okay, so that, it's going to be the window strip, isn't it? That secondary is the window strip. How did I know? I get the way it is, though. I, I, just, just for time's sake, let's see what we got here. Nothing of interest. I like these liveries here, the golf ones. 
I also want to see if there's another one on the on the market. Ford. You know what? We got robbed. I'm like getting the rights to this car would be, not like this car that we're looking at, but get the car that I'm about to say. Getting the rights to get that car in the game would probably be insanely hard. Pause. But we got robbed. They what they should have gotten is the Garage 56 Camaro. Now hear me out. Hear me out. Imagine being the. We're going back to Google. Imagine being the first to get this. To get this thing in a game, like the Le Mans Camaro. Okay. Um, cool. There we go. Imagine being the first to get this freaking monster in in a, in your game. That would be so sick. Knowing Forza, they would put it behind a paywall. Like they would put this car in a car pack. And that'd be the most infuriating thing in the world, but I guarantee you they sell the hell out of that car pack. Guarantee it, they sell the hell out of that car pack. So anyway, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a few laps around uh, Horizon Mexico circuit. And uh, show you guys how it drives. I want you guys paying attention to how it drives, how it handles, how it accelerates, stuff like that. Whoa, okay, don't catch dirt in it. Uh, This thing drives great though. It was I drove the ones in the uh, the what you call it? Was it the GT here? No, it wasn't. So I've driven the BMW that's in the car pack. I drove the Corvette that's in the car pack. The Hyundai that's in next week's thingy festival playlist, and the Evo that's in the winter playlist. So those are the ones that I've driven. I, probably, I could not have picked a worse place to go into the pause menu. This thing sounds good though. Give it that. That turbo blow off is crazy. Yeah, this taking me right back to Horizon 3. Man, I missed that game. Back when like Forza Horizon was actually really good. Not that it's bad now. Like it's still a oh, took that a bit too fast. It's still a really good game. Like I enjoy playing Forza Horizon 5. But it'll never be Horizon 3. I feel like Horizon 4 is kinda where the franchise fell off. Well, I guess it didn't really fall off, but the games weren't as good. And they cut some corners and they added in shit like houses and stuff that didn't need to be added in. Uh, that just kind of took away. Hold on, I gotta scratch my nose. It's over here killing me. Like, added unnecessary things. Yeah, it was. But that Horizon 4 multiplayer, though phenomenal and I'm glad that that got mostly got carried over to Horizon 5 but it the newer games don't have the atmosphere and the like feel that the old ones did like Horizon 3 man when I was younger I was playing that like eight like during the summers like I was on summer vacation like eight hours a day just playing that killing it having fun just time slips away and you don't even notice it 
I swear like now, yeah, I'm older and I'm paying a little more attention to time. But after like a couple hours on here, it's like, okay, I, I'm going to go play something else. Uh, probably not a couple, it's, yeah, maybe like two and a half, that's kind of where I'm getting at. That's where I get to that point that it's like, okay, I'm gonna go play something else. It just doesn't have that, like, amazement. It doesn't have that same atmosphere that the old games had. And I could still probably, like, to this day, Go hop on Horizon 2 or 3. Have a great time. I haven't played Horizon 3 in a minute. I think last I played it was... Like last summer. I think what they gotta do here... Or actually, I'll make that a separate video on what they need to do to bring back that like feeling of wonder that you get playing the game like what they gotta remove what they gotta bring back and like what needs to stay I'm gonna make that a separate video but anyway what I am noticing here is um, with this car I, it's definitely the upgrades that I did. It's causing the back end to skid out a bit. Probably if I reverted the car back to stock, it wouldn't do that. Because I drove this car before the upgrades. Which I rarely do. But I did drive it. And it wasn't doing that. So anyway, uh, I guess we're getting to that point that we're at the end of the video now, and just want to say, uh, as far as what I think of this car, it handles nice, accelerates nice, as a GTLM car should. But I'm gonna rate this thing an eight and a half out of ten. See, and that's because that's because a dirty Ford. If it wasn't a Ford easy like nine 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 and a half but because it's a disgusting Ford uh, it gets that eight and a half it gets reduced points just because it's a Ford so anyway uh, with all that being said and done let's do some donuts That's all for me today. Thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one.